Hi, my name is Todd McCracken. I'm the president and CEO of the National Small Business Association. And I'm coming to you today uh, and to all NSBA members with a, a bit of an update on uh, happenings in Washington, D.C. I specifically want to take just a minute and update you all on the status of uh, mandated unpaid uh, family leave uh, that is being discussed here in the nation's capital. Uh, obviously, having appropriate uh, uh, leave from the job to take care of family business is, is vitally important and, and a, uh, a clear national priority. Uh, but we've got to make sure that those policies, if there are some, really work for all small companies. And it's not clear that many of the discussions that are happening in Washington right now really take the needs of small businesses into account. So first off, what's being discussed? What, is the par what are the parameters of these new potential uh, leave policies? Uh, basically, uh, what's being discussed are, are different kinds of plans that would allow uh, all employees of all businesses of all sizes uh, to take a leave of absence from their work and get paid for it, uh, so long as that leave of absence is to is because of, uh, of their own illness, uh, they need to take leave, the severe illness of a family member or a child, um, uh, the birth or adoption of a new child, uh, or military deployment. Depending on the plan, there could be some other uh, other options uh, as well. But those are the those are the core that are talked about in most plans. Most people would get paid two thirds of their of their ongoing salary uh, or, or thereabouts. Although President Biden's uh, recently released plan envisions having a sliding scale, where lower wage workers would get a higher percentage of their wages and, and uh, uh, higher paid workers would get a lower percentage of their um, wages. Um, but what's critically important is to understand how this would impact actual small businesses. One of the vital requirements in these plans is that the employer has to hold a job or an equivalent job open uh, for that uh, individual to return to uh, at the completion of their leave. Of course, that's, that's uh, while not easy, is much more manageable in a, in a very large workplace where there's attrition, employees coming and going, and a very small workplace uh, that, that could be quite stable. There just may not be a job opening available uh, because uh, if someone is gone for a few months, uh, the work must go on. And often uh, that, that employer is in the position of hiring someone they need to guarantee an ongoing position to. They cannot find somebody who will do the job on a temporary basis. Uh, so uh, if there's no opening, it really puts that employer in a bind. They literally have to fire someone in order to bring the person back. Uh, who is left on leave, which puts them in a really difficult spot. Um, not only that, uh, the training expenses uh, and, and so on for bringing in someone new, on a, even if it is on a temporary basis, are, are, are substantial. Um, it's also not clear how long the individual would need to work for a business before they got this benefit. Um, and uh, the, if they got the job back, what the, uh, uh, how similar the position would have to be uh, to, the, to the old position. So. Uh, uh, these are these are our, our, our many concerns with the plan, and we'd like to urge all of our members uh, uh, to contact their members of Congress, contact their staffs, and just express how this thing, how it, how these provisions would impact their companies, because I do believe there's an ability for lawmakers to take these uh, uh, issues into account and draft plans that, that uh, treat small and large companies a little bit differently. Because certainly, these uh, these proposals, these plans. Uh, our, our, our draft is one size fits all, and they will be much easier uh, to comply with if you're a very large company than if you're a very small company. Uh, and the proposals we've seen simply don't take that reality into account. So uh, your voice is needed. Uh, uh, please speak up, and uh, and uh, don't just tell the lawmakers what's going on, but also communicate back to us. Tell the tell the NSBA who you've talked to, and if you need further information, uh, contact us anytime. Uh, thanks for all you do, and stay tuned for more updates. We appreciate it.